Hey, Stephen, Dan Cheston is from the Gateway uh, Filler Games group over there on Facebook. And he says, hey, he's wondering, what are the odds of terraforming Mars getting the legacy treatment? I had Rob Davio on this. I wish I'd, I'd thought of that. Terraforming Mars, the legacy game. Hmm. So should I give you a scoop? I don't Ooh. know that I've. I don't know that I've ever mentioned it anywhere, have I? Oh, wow. A I've, right here on the I've, I've hinted at it in a little ways that there are a bunch of like major projects in the terraforming Mars universe. Because I've, I, we've talked, I've talked about the fact that there were six, um, uh, planned, six expansions, right? planned expansions. I mentioned that already. That number may or may not be exactly true. We're not sure yet. Um, I've hinted at that there were other things in the works that are big, but Terraforming Mars Legacy is 100% being worked on. Wow! Now, I can't. I can't guarantee a, a date that this would come. That this would actually happen. Best guess it would be a 2020 or 2021 event. But it is absolutely something that the Frix Brothers, that's the Swedish design team, they are working on that game. So I'm hoping that we see something. Dan and Steve, Stephen, <laughs> sorry. How do you like that? Stephen dropping the big, big news, a potential, Ooh. oh, that's it, drop the mic, wow. A potential <laughs> legacy game in the Terraforming Mars. And he is, ex you made somebody really excited, Stephen. Woohoo! <laughs> there you go, thank you. BJ from Board Game Gumbo, I've got my guest here, Stephen Bonacore of Stronghold Games, and we're talking some of the spiciest games that Stronghold Games coming out, and one of the ones that I know people are looking forward to, the fourth expansion, I think, now for Terraforming Mars? That's correct. And, and that, that is, is? Uh, Terraforming Colonies. Terraforming Mars Colonies, right. So we did, um, uh, in August, for a Gen Con release, we had Prelude, Terraforming Mars Prelude. That was the third expansion, and it is has done amazingly. It's actually the best selling of all the expansions because everyone's saying it's like the one expansion you absolutely should play with every time. It doesn't hurt, it doesn't it doesn't give you new decisions. It gives each corporation, each player a bonus. And that's a really cool thing. So those first two turns of terraforming which were a, more of a slog. It was hard to get your engine going. Boom. Your first two turns become like your third and fourth turns and the engine kicks in and just go. So that's prelude, but now we did colonies. Colonies takes us toward the outer solar system. We're now um, going to be establishing colonies out there and doing trades out there. At the beginning of the game, you're going to select X number of moons from the outer solar system. Mostly it's moons that you're going to be establishing these colonies and doing uh, the trades. And you're going to be selecting them randomly and putting them on the um, out next to the board. And there's two new actions. You can establish a colony or you can trade. It's going to be more player interaction because when you trade with an established colony, the other player is going to get some benefit out of it as well. So extra player interaction. Nice. And the, the entire premise of this is that you're going to be getting more resources from those colonies. What do you need the resources for? Of course, to do all the stuff that is terraforming Mars itself. The game continues to be about terraforming Mars itself, by, but by doing little other things in the various other portions of the solar system. So that's Terry Forest Colonies, also available. That street dated at the end of November and now available worldwide. And that is not the last expansion you're telling me, right? Come on. And, and now I give you <laughs> true new knowledge that has not been announced anyplace else. How's that? A are scoop you, for the gumbo. I love it. Oh, yeah. scoop, for, scoop for the gumbo. So the fifth expansion is going to be called Terraforming Mars turmoil yeah it might change but i'm 99 percent sure 99.9 .9, i'm gonna go I with like it. that's that's the name because i love the name terraform is turmoil and you know whenever human beings get together to do like i don't know anything we get along always, kumbaya right yeah kumbaya well, everything's wonderful everything's great right nothing is ever great when human beings get together to do something even as epic and as important as you know terraforming a new world well on Mars, there's going to be turmoil. Mm. There's going to be various things that are going to happen. Events are going to occur over the course of the game, and that's what turmoil is going to be about. So the the conflict that will occur when human beings do these things together, no matter how good and how grand they're trying to do, those 
those things will now have effects, some positive, some negative on the game itself. So that's what it's going to be about. Look for terror. And I can't give you too much more information because A, I don't know it. I'm going to be playing the prototype uh, over the holidays myself. Two people will be playing the prototype myself. And I Paul? can't say. No, Paul won't be playing it because I won't oh. see Paul in the holidays. Someone else, two game groups. My, actually, several game groups will be playing. The Gumbo, the gumbo Crew? No. <laughs> They will all be internal to Stronghold and okay. Indie Boards and Cards. One slightly external group. But we'll be playing it. Maybe we'll leak a little bit. We'll leak a little bit. How's that? The on the secret so, cabal? So, no, not even those guys. No. Not even those guys. Not even them. Um, but but we'll, 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 we'll leak a little bit of information as, as we do that okay. over the holidays. Um, but look for this uh, late in in 2019 probably it probably won't even be a gen con release look at this as a um most likely a uh, an essen release so a fourth quarter release uh worldwide uh for stronghold games terraforming mars turmoil jesse said he's checking in he's just here for the comments but jambalaya who i know you've met before says, i love him he's I'm awesome here because bonacore is hardcore yeah but what you don't know jambalaya is that Stephen gave us an even better scoop at the start of the show, Stephen. A possibility of yet another expansion for Terraforming Mars. Come on, give it to us again. I, I love hearing say, it. Say it again? <laughs> yes. You, One more I time. <laughs> I didn't say expansion. I said new game. Legacy. Right? Legacy, Legacy, right? Legacy will not be an expansion, my friend. Oh, so Ter it'll be a new. Uh, Terraforming Mars new. Legacy. If it comes to fruition, that's not a promise. The turmoil is a promise. That's happening. The turmoil legacy is a 90% happening. It's probably closer to 95%. Uh, but we have to work on it, the timing. But Terraforming's legacy, probably a 2020 or 2021 event. I'm very excited about it because I love the legacy comment. I love the legacy concepts. I love what Rob Dalvio created in his original um, – his original um, risk, legacy, risk legacy and he's continued it with pandemic legacy, which are the, you know, iconic ones of the industry. I love to add terraforming Mars legacy to that. Well, let me tell you between Machi Coral legacy and terraforming Mars legacy, you can bet you could probably guess the one I'm more excited about. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> no hey, Chris strain. And you need to hire this guy. Look what he says. Next game should be a thousand years after Mars is already terraformed where you play aliens coming to terraform a blue skies, Mars. The ancient human civilization is gone, but they messed up the planet for us. Hmm. Hmm. Mm. Interesting. One thing, one thing I'll say about about terraforming Mars, which is uh, this is and this is an axiom about everything terraforming Mars that will ever happen, is that terraforming Mars is set in real science as as we can project it. So people have said like. Oh, why don't we have, you know, that we fighting aliens on Mars? That's never going to happen. I can categorically say that <laughs> us and the Fricks and the Fricks brothers who, who own this IP and they love it and they cherish it and, and they should because, God, it's doing so well. We want this to be a scientifically accurate representation of what should, could possibly happen in this process. Will it? Well, you know, we're talking 400 years in the future. Sure. So no, it's not going to be 100%. But if you look at the, everything that goes on in the game, it, it's, it's, it's a, a, a bright future version of potential, um, uh, potential technology that we could use to do such a, such a thing as terraforming another planet. So there'll be no aliens invading Mars. Sorry. Oh, it would have been great to see that, though. It would have been great to see that. <laughs> It's an absolutely fantastic roll and write game where you know each each play on your turn you're rolling dice you're selecting dice other players can action the dice also that are not selected it is so yeah there's Stephen O'Rock it's such an addictive game and it's so well designed this guy uh, Wolfgang Worst Wolfgang Worst uh, is a designer of the mind in this he had three. Um, games in the nominations for Spiel des Jahres or Kenner Amazing. Spiel des Jahres. And he's a brand new designer, which is absolutely astonishing. This guy is just a top tier guy. You can't, you can't deny the power of the, of the outside the box thinking that he has done 
ever since he has uh, brought these games out. So um, I, I, I highly recommend people taking a look at Gun Shown Clever, The Mind, which is not in my catalog, which is a brilliant game, and everything this guy touches. And by the way, another scoop, we're going to have another game by him next year. Coming Illusion? Up- I'm not going to tell you. We're going to have another <laughs> game by him next year um, in, in one of our partnerships. So, um, fanta- yeah, yeah, I know. I know. I know you try. He He's a genius designer. Um, I was really excited about the fact that um, uh, Schmidt Spieler, which is the uh, original publisher of the game, right. we reached out to them and they were like, immediately, they were like, Stronghold, we'd love for you to be part of this Great. project. So, they immediately sp- picked us. And in fact... Yeah, I'll announce it. We also are going to be doing a line of games uh, of roll and rights with Schmidt Spieler. Wow. During 2019 and beyond. And at least one more of those games, and that's not the game I was just talking about, will be by Wolfgang 